Now, moving into uh, our analysis of the results, uh, according to our March 30 to April 6 numbers, uh, former Senator Marcos and Mayor Duterte are leading the presidential and vice presidential races by 33 points and 43 points, respectively. Now, based on the data that we have on hand, what are the probabilities of their closest rivals catching up to them in the one month left to go before Election Day on May 9? Uh, I'm, I'm one of those statisticians who is true forecasting. There are simply way too many variables at play to make predictions. In model-based forecasting, any deviation from the underlying assumptions would invalidate the forecasts. Uh, given my position in Publicus, however, I have prepared for this eventuality by running 10,000 Monte Carlo simulations based on existing survey data from Publicus, Pulse Asia, Lilo, and Okta. The fundamental principle behind this strategy is to use existing survey data as, as baselines for potential scenarios as defined by a probability distribution. These 10,000 simulations strongly suggest that Bombong Marcos is expected to win in the upcoming elections. The same can be said of Sara Duterte in the VP race. Uh, it is important to note at this junction that survey data do not capture command votes, bailiwicks, and party machinery. This is where political party allegiances, local executives, and endorsements of groups such as the INC come into play. All of these make sampling for surveys more challenging in the sense that they affect the overall heterogeneity of the population. At this, at this point, it is important to consider which candidates are getting the support of these major factions and adjust expectations and estimates accordingly. Uh, now, David, maybe for the uh, benefit of our viewers, if you could just explain a little bit uh, what exactly is a Monte Carlo simulation? I mean, you said that you did it 10,000 times. That seems like a lot of work, but how, how does this help us uh, predict or at least establish the probability of certain outcomes based on a large data set? So the, the fundamental principle behind the Monte Carlo simulation is that you take a game of, of chance, meaning any game with with un with predetermined outcomes, all with certain probabilities of occurring. So with those types of parameters, and then as I said earlier, using survey data from, from reputable survey firms, uh, I was then able to create the vector of parameters that are necessary to simulate quote unquote 10,000 uh, elections. So in those 10,000 hypothetical or simulated elections, roughly how often did uh, former Senator Marcos and uh, Mayor Duterte win? All of them. <laughs> I see. Okay. 